ます。Sure. Uh, right now, I am one of the uh, data science leaders in Itaú. I am leading uh, a wonderful team of uh, almost 15 data scientists, and we are responsible for all the machine learning models uh, in the credit recovery area of the bank. Mostly, we are responsible for develop, maintain, and evolve the machine learning models uh, that handles all sorts of uh, credit uh, default and credit prediction activities. We are also researching uh, some prescriptive uh, machine learning models to recommend best offers for our clients uh, as well. We use all sorts of uh numerical and uh transaction related data but we are also using textual information uh that uh come from the user transcription calls that we have uh in the bank as well uh before that i was one of the software architects uh, at ibm so uh, I have also a, a, a formation and experience in software development as well. I would say curiosity is one of the, the, the biggest Always. aspects that caught me. And more than 10 years ago, I was back there in 2010, I was starting my master's in software engineering and I could see a huge gap between software and machine learning. The machine learning guys didn't care uh, a bit about uh, uh, the software constraints of their solutions and in software uh, development, uh, the guys didn't know anything about AI and machine learning. So I started, I started researching this gap, this, this is one of the main topics of my PhD, but the curiosity to work uh, between this gap uh, uh, in software en engineering and machine learning was the start of my uh, research and, uh, and my contact with AI and Later on, I just got involved in, in several other aspects. I would say that, unfortunately, uh, uh, we don't have uh, the basic knowledge of AI uh, very spread, especially uh, among uh, the executive and business teams. And uh, I still have uh, a lot of my work dedicated to share those basic knowledges so because we want uh, for we want that uh, the business teams uh, use our models and to do so they need to understand the basics to employ such models uh, i'm still surprised about uh, the lack of basic knowledge that we still uh, uh, find uh, uh, regarding uh, the need to understand the basics so uh, the machine learning models and and I solutions can you can be used on, on a more uh, easily way uh, because uh, they 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 still in my opinion they still the business areas and the executives are still uh, uh, hoping for a silver bullet solution so. Uh, without any knowledge, we can have a general solution. That's right. First of all, I'm very honored to, to, to be part of this, this webinar. And my, my, I, I would say that I have two main, uh, main interests in, in this webinar. The first one, 
is to expand my network of relationship and I'm doing that right now uh, getting in touch with you guys and, and other uh, AR practitioners and second is to see how AI is being used in other industries and in other parts uh, of the world. About this specific topic, it's related with uh, the criticity of using a machine learning model. Uh, in most of the time, we need to, to have sure that the answer of the machine learning model uh, is reliable enough to be employed. And you can imagine in, in a, a business criticity as is the it is the financial market, uh, we need to make sure that the answer of machine learning model uh, is accurate enough uh, uh, to be employed. In other words, uh, if we have two options to, to a possible event occur, yes or no, the machine learning model uh, normally uh, answers in, in three options. Yes, no, or I don't know. So we need to make sure that we, we have, uh, we are limiting this uncertainty of all the machine learning models because we know that the error is implicit in, uh, in, in those kind of uh, uh, approaches. So the idea is to provide this uncertainty region for our, our business teams so they can take uh, the best action uh, for the certainty uh, regions, yes and no, and have a, a generic uh, uh, policy for the uncertainty uh, of the model. So our main work is to uh, outline this uncertainty region so we can have uh, the best uh, adoption of the machine learning model. Yeah. Using either artificial intelligence or machine learning to increase business value. Sure, we have a variety of uh, uh, applications here at the bank. Uh, we have almost two hundred and seventy data science. So, so you can imagine uh, all the applications that uh, we have here. But mostly, we have a huge concern of uh, fraud detection and credit related applications. Uh, we have also uh, applications, actually th this is most the, the most traditional applications. What we are uh, researching in, in different segments of the bank is how can we suggest the best offer, offering solutions uh, for our, our clients. For example, we have a, a, a particular client that is in uh, default condition. How can we uh, offer the best uh, solution in terms of tax? Uh, sure, uh, I can uh, outline two uh, main practices uh, that we are uh, uh, implementing here at the bank. The first one is to uh, ensure that we have a common uh, machine learning development process so we, we can make sure that all the basic uh, techniques are being adopted and, and we have a common set of steps uh, very similar to uh, a traditional software development process and we are uh, doing that based on uh, standards that are very known uh, in the market. For example, we have CRISPDM and other uh, uh, methodologies in, in this area. And the second one, we are uh, transforming, this is a, a consequence of the first one, we are transforming uh, the development of machine learning models into a software development process, mostly by embracing 
uh, some MLOps practices. Uh, those are the two uh, main guidelines, I would say, on, on development. And I may also uh, add a third one regarding machine learning uh, techniques. We are uh, investigating uh, the best approach in terms of uh, space topology to recommend the best machine learning technique to infer our models. We are, in other words, uh, investigating how hard or how easy is the input space uh, is to be cut uh, so we can use the best machine learning technique to build our models. Uh, there is a huge difference, for example, in using neural networks or tree-based uh, uh, machine learning techniques. So this is the, uh, uh, the, I would say, the third aspect that we are co contributing as well. We are not just using blindly and testing randomly uh, uh, machine learning techniques. Uh, and this is a, a trend, uh, as I can see in some areas of machine learning as well. That's impressive. It's really, it's really... Uh... For sure. There is, uh, I am, uh, I'm, for example, I am invited professor in uh, executive MBA. And the discipline that uh, uh, I am responsible for is to introduce basic data science concepts for executives. So uh, what I'm seeing now uh, I'm seeing a, a migration of AI practitioners to executive uh, position in business roles. So uh, they are more uh, capable of employ the machine learning and AI solutions because uh, the previous knowledge. So uh, uh, in order to achieve a wider adoption of AI solutions, we need for sure evangelize uh, uh, and spread the basic stuff, supervised and supervised models, what I can do and what I cannot do uh, uh, to the business teams and uh